Hello folks, shock us. Paila Mulodinga exposes the shocking phone call that led to the meeting between him, uh, Uganda's President Museveni, and Kenya's President William Samiruto. Let's say that he had to do this meeting because the call he received was somehow shocking. Um, Museveni called Raila Modinga and told him that he would like to meet him with Ruto. And actually, matters that were discussed here what was, is what has shocked many Kenyans. Because let's say that despite him being front runner for the African Union chairman post, Museveni wanted Ruto and Raila to, co to coexist and be united and face this election as a team. Because I think Museveni is supporting Raila's bid you know, for the AU post. And also, what came out there was that Museveni discussed the East African integration, how East African countries can come together, and of course, join hands with other presidents to make Raila the AU chairman. I think so many people out there are wondering why is Raila special in this post? Why is every president in Africa seems to be supporting Raila's bid, you know, for the AU post? Like, what is special about this post? And why is Raila Modinga the best choice? I think so many people think that Raila Modinga can really fight for Africa the way he's been seen fighting for Kenya. People think that he can fight for Africa and he can liberate Africa from the atrocities, you know, Africans are facing from the West. That's why I think presidents in Africa would prefer Raila Mordinga to be the AU boss. And again, I think when it comes to Ruto, I believe it's a different case. <laughs> I believe Ruto wants Raila Mordinga to be out of Kenyan's politics so that he can face less competition in 2027. That's just my thought. So probably you have a different thought. But my thought is that Ruto would want Raila to be out of Kenyan's politics, yeah, so that he can face, you know, least competition when it comes to 2027. That's food food for thought. But anyway, Raila has exposed the details that led to the meeting, and thus and how he had to honor the meeting, and he had to face his two political enemies. Remember, Museveni is Raila's enemy, not that enemy, but a political enemy. Same as Ruto. But he had to meet them. Tell me, do you think the meeting was fruitful or do you think it was just meant for the media? <laughs>